Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hatchful Boyfriend with me, Rock Paper Mario. In the last part, things went to shit, and <laughs> Angel and the t useless teacher got cut off, and now I'm on my own, one-on-one, -on -one, tete a tete with the hideous doctor. You have done unbelievably cruel things, doctor. You were involved in the medical center here, too. Nothing you can save to me will make me change my mind. How pugnacious of you, but you are lacking in logic. What I may or may not have done has little to do with the truth of my words. I was employed at this facility from the beginning. No doubt you've already deduced that I was working on Operation Hatoful. Operation Hatoful? The plan to wipe out humanity with the Charon virus. Yeah, and to you is poor Nagaki, my second favorite boyfriend. Well, one of my favorite boyfriends anyway. Yeah, I'd say my second favorite boyfriend. Sakuya is definitely my favorite one. Precisely. Oh, it does make me so happy when students read ahead and come prepared for the lecture. You are exemplary. <laughs> you shut up with your stupid rival girl from Wrecketeer laugh and your no lips like John Travolta in, in American Crime Story. And look, Slimer has been here again. The strain we isolated from the original host was extremely powerful, quite possibly the deadliest in human history. However, strains of such lethality tend to be fragile themselves. Charon virus was no exception. What you talking about, Dr. Shu? It can last perhaps very long outside of a host's body. In order to deliver it to the enemy, we would have to send live carriers into their society and allow it to spread via airborne infection. This proved troublesome. Charon virus, in addition to being harmless to birds, is ill-equipped to establish itself in our bodies. Fujishiro Nagaki, the original host, had a rare genetic condition, which resulted in a slightly compromised immune system. Oh my god, I totally know what's going on. I totally know what's going on. In his body alone was Sharon able to safely reside. Like, because, like, the way Ryota was always sick as well. Like, he he totally wanted to use Ryota as, like, the new carrier because he thought that he has, like, a bad immune system so the virus would be able to live inside in him. That's definitely what's going on. I, I, I swear. I'm, like, all, like, all bets, like, just, yeah, that's, that's, I'd, I'd bet, like, a million, million euro on it. Alas, he refused to cooperate. You forced him to kill human prisoners. If it weren't for your experiments, he would never have killed himself. Indeed, it had not occurred to us that the tests of the strain's effects would harm his mental health, because we didn't care. We expected that he would be glad of the chance to avenge himself on humanity, but sadly it was not so, and we lost our sample. Yeah, because he was actually a good guy. Because he actually wasn't an asshole like you, and because he was actually able to love another human being like me, like Harry. The project was put on indefinite hold with his death, but thankfully we did not lose his corpse in its entirety. I preserved his remains and have kept them to this day. I have been waiting for a new carrier to arrive. It sounds like this was a very intense, labor-intensive project. Would you shut up? We don't need an audience here. Anyway, I'm still convinced that you I'm still convinced that you have something else to do with all of this. Like how could you be working there and not know what was going on? Quite right. I digress a little, but there was a reason for our methods. It did not take me long to come up with a better plan. We need only compromise a subject's immune system, creating a compatibility like Fujishiro's Nagaki's. Compromise the immune system, they die. Indeed, even if the subject were able to become a carrier for the Charon virus, if they died to some other infection, it would be all for naught, which is why I was careful with who I chose. I worked on the subject over time, slowly weakening his immune system. I suppose I should count myself lucky that I achieved my goal in only a year. You are an exemplary student, Mr. Kawara. I give you full marks. What did I tell you? And Ryota killed Harry with the virus, and they chopped me up. That's totally what fucking happened. I told you. Full marks? My head hurts, almost as if some strange creature is wriggling about deep inside my brain. Are you okay, Ryota? 
Mr. Nanaki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were all right. Harry came to the infirmary to see me. You have come this far. I am sure you can answer this. What was it that you forgot? He forgot that he killed me. That's what he did. You jerk. You jerk. I swear. There was. I, I knew there was a reason I fucking hated you from the get-go. You jerk. Everything is hazy. I think my stomach is acting up again. I drink the medicine Dr. Awamane gives me and lie down, but my body still feels heavy. I'm tired. Are you okay, Ryota? Yeah, I'm fine now. Mr. Nanaki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were all right. Yet you said that already. Harry is reaching towards me. Want to go home? I'll walk you. Maybe you can pin me, Skip. Her hand stops. Harry falls to her knees, clutching her chest. Ryota, I can't breathe. She can't breathe. This is bad. I killed Reese Witherspoon. My mother said to get home early. Everything feels strange. Almost like it's a dream. I need to go home. Goodbye, Harry. See you tomorrow. Hugh... Hugh... What was that? That was the same noise that Robot was making. That Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. She fell down before my eyes, and then... The experiment was a resounding success. Miss Cullen displayed the archetypal symptoms of a human infected with Charon virus and passed away. I... Yeah, yeah, you. You fucker. I swear. <laughs> I knew I was right not to trust you. Once the virus is inside a human body, it shuts down the respiratory system in a matter of minutes. Technically speaking, it causes an overreaction of the immune system, which leads to widespread apoptosis in the lungs. But more simply, any human who comes into contact with you will die. You see? You're lying. Harry and I were together since we were children. Yeah, because you only got the virus yesterday, you boob. <laughs> <laughs> of course, like I have to fill into Sakuya. I have to fill in for Sakuya while he's not here. All the things I've done to you over the past year have been in preparation for it. Do you recognize this? The scarecrow's head. Oh my god, don't tell me it's Harry's head. Yes, alas, the body is now useless, but I shall tell you about Labor 9, the being you call the scarecrow. It is one of the labor model new humans developed by Dove Party researchers, but denounced as unethical. We birds have advanced quickly, but our physical capabilities are still far beyond those of the human race. These new creatures were livestock, if you will, to compensate for that. The labor series was a great step towards the beautiful ideal of coexistence. What? So they were like, it, it's like, yeah, oh my god! A human's head mounted inside an artificial body. They were durable and capable of difficult ta Fuck. Oh my god. This is like more fucked up than I even ever thought. Even though, wait a second, I think I did like... I, I, I think I did like come up with that idea that that was my head on a robot body at one stage, didn't I? I think. Of course, they never entered development, the project having been shut down early due to ethical complaints. However, I carried on the Dove Party researcher's will and created this prototype to be my sidekick. Yeah, well, we destroyed it now. But whose head is it? We didn't want too many other people snooping around and disrupting our investigation, so I had it patrol the building. And now the next question. What is inside this bag? A, a human's head? No, no, no. Close, but you have to be more specific. I believe we had Miss Collins' head sent to your classroom, but did you notice anything missing? Oh my god, it's her brain. It's my brain! Oh my god, fuck. When I found her in the box, I was too shocked to be looking for cute clues. I may as well have missed something. Wait. He doesn't mean... Harry's brain? The cranes of Maine have got my living brain. Fuck. Oh my god, they kill. He killed me twice?! He killed me twice! He killed me twice! That, like, I can't believe Ryota killed me twice. Ryota, that loser! I, like... Oh my god! 
Miss Cullen did come to meet you quite frequently, of course. Having been faced in Labor 9, she has lost much of her personality. Then she's... alive? But her body is gone. All that's left is her brain. Can we still call that alive? Alive or not alive, I don't know anymore. Can you save her? That is a difficult question. We tend to think of there being a definite border between life and death. But really, it's quite vague. Her personality still remained in this world up until a few minutes ago. <laughs> but you gave poor Labor 9 quite a shock, shall we say. Alas, Mr. Co Miss Collins' brain is no doubt irreversibly damaged. The wonders of modern medicine can do nothing for her now but sigh and shake their heads. <laughs> Yesterday her body, and today her mind. You are a far more twisted villain than I could ever hope to be, Mr. Kawara. I'm telling you, like... you Yeah, you did. Twice. Twice. Two times. Yeah, it was your fault all along. I swear, I, like... You asshole. That was my favorite record. <laughs> Why did it have to happen this way? This was all arranged for you. I had labor nine. Mr. Sakazaki and the headmaster help you along in your investigation. You are but one step from the end now. You must remember one more thing. What was it that you and Miss Cullen told me long ago? Come, follow me. He holds out his wing. What lies beyond here? Harry is gone. The one who killed her was here from the beginning. I've nothing more to lose. You are obedient, Mr. Kawara. Wait! Dexterous Melodia Funas. The demon spores are the thickest that way. You will not be able to return. That's right. The doctor is probably going to do something unspeakably horrible to you, Kawara. Come back. Ooh. Yeah, I swear. Like you go, like you just go away. We can just ignore you, the doctor and I. Thank you for bringing Mr. Kawara this far, you two. And now, goodbye. Ryota, you kind of like have to go with him just to find out what's going on here. Oh dear, this looks bad. Do you suppose it's poison gas? <laughs> this presence, Mystic Phantom, the Avatar of Miasma. You do take everything in stride, don't you? Yeah, what about you? You're the one who sounds like you're always a s who sounds like you're going to go to sleep all the time. Two humans lie in a twisted pile. They are Harry's parents. She said they work as mediators between birds and humans. They were trying to say something to the humans barricaded on the other side of the wall, but they received only bullets as a reply. The death of her parents became a signal. The birds surrounding the little house crossed the wall as one. I can hear gunfire from inside. I can hear humans and birds screaming. We could do nothing but stand outside and watch. Is that like the teacher talking now? And then the stranger came, I'll just decide it is, and spoke to us. Is there anything you desire? I will grant any wish for you, so tell me. I answered. I don't want these things to happen anymore. My wish is for a world where humans and birds no longer fight. Even Oh wait, maybe that's like Harry talking, and Harry continued. I agree. <laughs> I would do anything to make Ryota's wish come true. The stranger nodded. It might not be possible right now, but one day I will make it happen. Who was that talking? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh yeah, Ryota, I suppose. When we were children, that's right. That was you. That was the other thing you had forgotten. You have remembered, I see. So that's probably why Harry, like, that's probably why I was sent here as the as the concession, um, or as, like, the gift, because of my parents' roles as mediators or whatever, probably made sense. Eight years ago, a number of humans barricaded themselves in a building not far from where we lived. Harry's parents were shot by the other humans, and many birds and humans were killed in the ensuing gunfight. And that was when, like, Nagaki killed them all with the virus as well, I suppose. And then I met the doctor. I asked for a world in which humans and birds no longer fight. You and Miss Cullen both said you would be glad to die to bring it about, and so I am carrying out your wish, just as you had stated it. Even symbiotic relationships are not free from strife. In order to end the wars between humans and birds forever, one race would have to be completely destroyed, you see? 
Why did you choose me back then? Choose you? Why did I ask you what your wish was, you mean? I assure you it was not a coincidence. Of course it wasn't. Apparently nothing in this game was a coincidence. After all, I am not so bored as to wander around granting wishes within the elite. <laughs> yeah, like a sorcerer, like a wizard. I, too, had made a promise to grant your wish. The preliminary test yesterday was a resounding success. We need only transfer the original Lysol's homes from Fujishiro Nagaki to you, and everything will be in place. I have granted your wish. Though, I did make you jump through a few hoops so you would remember your wish and understand my intentions. It would be the least you could do to at least acknowledge all I have done for you, hmm? What, you want me to thank you? Do you seriously expect me to thank you for making him kill me twice? I don't care about anything now. Harry's gone. My wish has destroyed everything. Nothing good has ever happened. If this is what my life is to be like, I wish I had never been born. I don't want to see anything anymore. Do not be anxious. You will have no, you have no will to resist. So soon you will forget it all. Good night, Mr. Kawara. Fuck. <laughs>